Antes vivía en un campamento, Juan Pablo II, viví ahí 10 años, en el campamento. Me cobijo muchos años ahí, pasé muchos tiempos malos, inviernos y fríos. Nunca tuve un, una vivienda así, porque en el fondo no daban vivienda. Tiene todo lo que no, no tenía en otra casa, por ejemplo, un ventanal bonito. Pues ya es para mí, yo me emociono por esto porque a la edad que yo tengo puedo disfrutar algo mío. Yo me llamo Natalia Maldonado. We were looking with our design to find a way to put people within the network of opportunities that cities concentrate, not to segregate them. A city should be measured by its capacity of providing a good quality of life for free. Projects of infrastructure, public space, transportation, or housing can take advantage of a, a city as a shortcut towards equality, allowing people to stay within that concentration of opportunities. All Chilean infrastructure in general is a 21st century infrastructure. Well, housing is kind of lagged behind. Uh, housing is even worse than what we used to have 30 years ago. When we began to work, we thought it was important that a housing project could perform as an investment and not as a mere social expense. We came up with an open system that uses public resources and professional knowledge for the first half of the house, allowing then the second half to be done by families themselves. Lo mejor de esta casa, mira, para mí, son los espacios, los espacios individuales. El tema del sentido de propiedad es mío. Es algo conseguido con mi esfuerzo, eh, con ayuda de mucha gente y agradeciendo mucho a la gente elemental. Mi nombre es Alejandra Osorio Sangüesa y vivo aproximadamente tres meses en esta casa. Yo me llamo Juan y hace dos años y algo que vivimos aquí. Pero todo esto lo hemos hecho nosotros con la señora. Claro, para la ampliación del lugar fuimos diseñando de a poco, le hemos dado dándole sus toques. No, si de decirle agradecer, porque aquí pues, ya, tenemos todo nuestro futuro aquí gracias a ellos. If you can't pay for everything like water heater or bathtub. Well, we could have an opinion, but what about families? And to our surprise, just to give this small example, the reason why they choose a bathtub is that if they move into a housing project that had this water heater, they would have had no money to pay for the gas. Democratic design is about allowing them to establish priorities. If you measure the success of the project on the price of the house, which someone would say that is very market-oriented, but it's, a, it's an important indicator. It was very successful. Those houses now, they're worth like probably three or four times what they cost. That is a huge success. Secondly, if you go to those neighborhoods that used to be difficult areas in the city, it's calm, there's no no safety issues. Only to focus on the project we're dealing today is more than enough. I mean, we have done only a few thousand units and there is a couple of billions needed in the world. So on the one hand, we might have had some achievements. On the other hand, I feel that we're uh, a failure in a sense. We're not mainstream. We're a, an interesting 
exception uh, on the periphery of what is being built nowadays. So uh, I would say that we still have a lot to do.